Hi, my name is Neil Patek and I'm sitting here with Lissa Sai, who's one of three team members to recently win the CMIT competition for her biomedical engineering research on a medical device which can improve primary health care. Can you tell us a little bit more about this device, Liz? Sure. So, um, basically, it's a 3D plug-and-play dermatoscope. And what this means is that we took an uh, off-the-shelf webcam and we put it on a motorized track so that it could move back and forth by 5 millimeter increments in order to simulate your right and left eye viewpoints. And therefore, we're able to make a 3D image um, with our computer software. Um, we also uh, made it plug-and-play just from being a webcam, and it's um, pretty uh, accessible to anyone who has a computer as it works off of Silverlight, which is the same software that runs Netflix. So basically, if you can access Netflix, you can use our device. And when it actually takes the pictures of the skin. It takes the two images that can then be molded to the 3D image, but it also takes these pictures in HD um, cross-polarized lighting so that the pictures that we actually yield are um, on par with the clinical images that they uh, collect in the dermatology clinics now. So, and uh, we're able to do all this at a production cost of about $35. So we're hoping that um, even with um, a cost for profits and for labor, um, that we can have a price margin around $100, which should be pretty um, okay for patients with or without insurance. Wow, oh, that's awesome. So can you tell us how you got involved with this type of research? Yeah, so um, my two teammates and I have been friends since freshman year. We were uh, on the same floor. Uh, as freshmen in Morse, um, we started working on a 3D laparoscopic probe project at uh, the start of sophomore year, and uh, we were kind of just going off a thousand dollar grant from the engineering office to kind of pursue that project. But um, as we kind of neared the uh, halfway part point of sophomore year, we heard about this competition run by Simit, and they were offering four hundred thousand dollars worth of prizes for first, second, and third. Um, entries and so we decided to kind of change our technology in order to adapt it to be a competition. Entry. But um, the main purpose of this competition was to design something that could really change primary health care and since a laparoscopic probe isn't exactly the first stop of care, we decided to um, apply our 3D technology to something that was more applicable to a clinical setting. So from there we kind of took the 3D aspect of the probe and made it into something that could take 3D images of skin. So, so. Great. Can you tell us more about the clinical testing that you performed? Yeah, so uh, once we had a final prototype, or I guess we, don't, we still have yet to have a finalized prototype, but once we had a prototype that was working, took the images, and we were pretty satisfied with the images that we were yielding from that, um, we started the process of getting a clinical study approved. So we worked with the Yale Dermatology Associates um, at the Yale Med School, and they were really helpful in um, giving us feedback on our design and um, setting up how we would um, get patients to actually participate in the study. And we were actually able to get 50 patients who um, were really uh, excited to be participants. And um, once we cleared the process, it was pretty simple. We went into um, different clinics for about two, three weeks. And um, we just collected the first 50 people who came in with any kind of suspicious lesion. Um, we taught the doctors how to use our device to take the images, and then um, we collected the actual pictures that were taken, um, a simple diagnosis, and a um, decision of whether or not the doctor would want to biopsy it. And then we took all this data and then showed only the pictures to a panel of um, other dermatologists who had never seen the patient in person, and we asked them to make their diagnosis and asked them if they would want to biopsy it or not, just based on the image. And then we kind of compared the two um, sets of dermatologists' feedback to see if our pictures that we were getting were um, were of high enough quality to actually be of use. Great, so are you actively seeking a patent for your medical device? Yeah, right now we're um, talking to a couple different patent lawyers and we're trying to um, see what claims might be patentable and um, exactly how we can put this into production in the future. Fantastic. So could you tell us your advice to future engineers, future undergraduates who would like to pursue research and possibly enter such competitions? Sure. Um, well, this competition happens every year, so if you think you have a good idea, I mean, go for it. The proposal, I think, is only about two pages, so it's, it's pr pretty simple. Uh, at
at least the introduction to the competition is pretty simple. And then if you're chosen as a finalist, you get a $10,000 grant just to pursue the idea into a final entry. Um, so it's, it's a really fun process if you're interested. And um, we're also recruiting around campus for any engineers who are interested in working with us on optics, programming, um, different aspects of product design. So it's a good place to get involved. Fantastic. Well, this is Liz Asai, and she was one of three teammates who recently won this national competition. Thank you so much, Liz. Thanks.